Hey, it's Zana. How is everyone? It has been a minute. It feels like it's been ages, but it actually hasn't. It's kind of weird. I think it's because I'm so used to filming three videos a week that going back to just filming one, it feels like it's like months at a time. <laughs> like there's literally a month gap when there's actually just a week. So I don't know. It feels like I haven't been on camera in a while, but actually I filmed like two days ago for the Validate Me podcast. So... I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> I'm in such a weird mood. My hair is an absolute mess. I need to wash it, but I'm not going to wash it today because, you know, we like to leave it a week. So here I am looking horrific. You are so, so welcome. <laughs> so yes, anyway, I'm just rambling now, but basic makeup, complete wreck of hair is not how I like to look on camera but we're trying to break these awful programs and cycles that tell us that we need to look perfect and look like a doll and look unrealistic 24 7 so here we are facing another fear of just being a basic bitch <laughs> Anyway, so I just want to talk today about the matrix because believe me I'm going through real like emotional triggers and programmings and trying to just do the complete shadow work and everything so I kind of like to talk about things as I do it because obviously I am sitting here talking to myself so I find it quite therapeutic and helpful especially when I watch it back to just sit and like talk about whatever it is that I'm trying to understand myself so then when I watch it back I kind of get to see my perspective from like a bird's eye view almost kind of thing if that makes any sense I get to like listen to myself sharing my perspective so then I understand it even more if that makes sense so that's part of the reason why I like to film these videos as well as to like talk to other people that are experiencing the same kind of lessons so yeah I want to talk about the matrix system because this is something that I'm really starting to I want to say understand but like internalize how to perceive it like the perception that I want to have of what the matrix system is like how to perceive it in a way that doesn't trigger me you know like because it's so easy to get caught up and this is why I'm calling this video lost in the distraction because it's so easy to get caught up in all of the horrific things that go on here you know like it is real disgusting some of the things that happen and it's so easy to get caught up and emotionally triggered by those things. Really, really easy. Like, really easy. Because these people are just up to some disgusting shit, you know? And especially now with the internet, we're aware more. Not fully, but definitely more. We're aware of kind of like the things that they do, actually do. You know, like the conspiracies are not conspiracies anymore. We realise that this shit is actually real. It is what they're doing. And it's actually way worse than what the conspiracy theory even says. You know, like that conspiracy is only a fraction of the fuckery that they're doing, you know. So anyway, I just think that it's very, very easy to get triggered and caught up on watching all of these viral videos and listening to the media and the news and all of the the like court cases that go on and all of the people stepping forward especially with the me too movement you know it can be very very triggering and the police brutality as well i mean a lot of the things that i'm talking about are actually happening in, in america rather than the uk where i am but i don't know i think it affects the entire world you know and obviously things do happen in america and we do have certain families that live in the UK so it does affect worldwide but obviously like different locations have it worse and in different ways you know so yeah I don't know what the point was with that statement but I'm just letting you know like it does happen worldwide but a lot of the stuff actually is public and like more in your face in America I feel like so yeah it can be very easy to watch the news look at the media and then get caught up in all of the horrific shit that they're doing so for me when I like look at this stuff and I get triggered I'm having to work on tools and ways to not get triggered one of those tools is to just not fucking look at it <laughs> but then there's that conflicting battle of like I want to know what's going on but I don't want to be triggered 
So then it's like you either don't look at it at all and just don't know what's happening and almost live in cuckoo land, you know, like live in your own little bubble or, you know, everything, but then you get really, really triggered. So it's like, how do you find the balance between the two? How do you not get triggered, but still be aware of everything that's happening, you know? So that's kind of the journey that I'm on and the perspective that I want to talk about, because I do feel like there's ways to do that and ways to not allow yourself to be triggered and that's why in my next video i'm going to film about the chakras because that is the emotional body and i feel like that is literally the key to this journey is the emotions because the emotions are what set your frequency and that's what manifests your reality you know so like they're all connected your frequency your emotional body and your perception so yeah that's for the next video but for this one we're going to talk about this horrific wonderful matrix system and i did write notes again i feel like i need to write notes for every video because my mind just goes at 20 million miles an hour and then i forget what i have said and what i haven't and even afterwards even when i've got all of those points and i've said them all i still remember new things that i could have mentioned that i didn't mention you know <laughs> But that's just the beauty of filming these wonderful videos. So I feel like to understand how to step out of the matrix system, you have to know what the matrix system is. Like, what even is it? And what I feel like it is, is a belief system. You know, like when you think about the matrix, yeah, they are doing loads of physical things like wars and poverty and all of these crazy shit. But what actually holds it all together is a belief system. It's a fear-based belief system because the mind control is mental. It's mind, it's not physical. You know, like the physical reflects the mental, it comes afterwards. So the matrix is a mental system. It's a mental construct. And so like you hear people say, how do you step out of it? Or I want to step out of the matrix. How do I leave the matrix? But it's leaving it mentally. Like you leave it through your perception which is why you're trying to raise your vibration, trying to balance your chakras, trying to allow kundalini energy to flow freely through your being. Like all of those things are so that you can re receive, so that you can reach a higher perception level, you know? Like you're literally tapping into God frequency, which is tapping back into the all, like the collective information because what is the all, what is God? It's literally consciousness, which is the mind, which is thought. So you're trying to tap into higher levels of thought, which is God consciousness, you know? So you wanna step out of the matrix programming and not be triggered by the things that happen in the matrix because the things on the news and the media, a lot of it is false anyway. Like a lot of it is actually made up and hasn't really happened, but they're doing it on purpose. They're creating this false story in order to trigger your emotions. Like that's literally what it is for, you know? So they'll set up these mass shootings that didn't really happen or Maybe they did happen, but then they've actually hired somebody or like not even hired because I doubt they even fucking pay these people because they're literally going and killing. So they like literally choose and select people that they've already brainwashed and already control fully. And then they send them out to do this work of mass shootings, you know, like all of it is a part of an agenda and it's orchestrated. Like it's not by accident. It's not it's not random it doesn't just come out of nowhere you know like they fully know what they're doing and they've planned all of this shit but when you uncover it and you realize that or even when you're not aware of that and you just see these shootings or you see these horrific incidents that happen it triggers so many things because it is an, an awful thing like i don't want this to be insensitive i know that people get hurt people are suffering people are in pain you know like I have to kind of disconnect from that in order to talk about it because otherwise I'll be completely in my feelings. So like, I don't even tap into the emotion of that. Like it's a separate thing, you know? So I can sit here and talk about horrific things that are happening, but I don't feel it because I'm not allowing myself to tap into that emotion. I don't even know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's just something that I've managed to do over the years because I don't want to feel it which then creates another disconnect, you know? So like, I feel like this is the battle. It's like, do you disconnect from it fully? And then 
it's almost like disassociating from it oh like that didn't happen to me it doesn't affect me so I don't feel it or do you step right into it and you feel it like it's happening to you because we are all connected you know so like this is kind of the battle that I am trying to go through is like how do you maneuver through seeing what is happening without triggering yourself but then also without getting so triggered that you're then stuck in it and that now like you feel the intensity as if it's happening to you right now in that moment you know and this can also be the same thing with like reliving past memories like when memories come up and it triggers you you know it's the same kind of thing because those memories feel like they're happening right now or when you're going through heartbreak or you're grieving a loss of somebody all of these things are triggering emotions and it's like it's literally about the emotional work the emotional alchemy which is kind of shadow work as well. Like, I feel like what I'm talking about right now is actually to do with the emotional body and I didn't even realize it until I'm sitting here talking about it. Which is why I like filming these videos because it does help me to integrate it even while I'm sitting here talking about it, you know? Helps me to unravel my thoughts and then understand it. So yeah, it's kind of crazy really, but the fuckery that they do is like I don't even have a word to describe it literally there's not a word that is low enough and horrific enough to describe the kind of things that they get up to you know so it's like do you watch it do you look at it or do you step away from it and not look at it and I feel like this is where it comes down to having that higher perspective being able to see it from all angles because when you're looking at it from a human perspective of being a human, being in this reality and witnessing things that go on in this reality, then you're going to feel it. Like you're going to attach to it. You're going to want to fight against it. You know, like you're going to be like, fuck these people. They're evil. They need to be like destroyed. We need to take them down. You know, you're going to have that kind of um, mentality towards it because you're in it. You know, like you're in the experience, you you see it right in front of you, it's, it's happening right there and you want to deal with it, you want to handle it, you want to attack it, you know? But then when you look at it from a spiritual perspective of like stepping out of this world, literally like putting yourself in a bird's eye view of, okay, we agreed to come here where we knew that this type of shit happens. We also like we agree to play a certain role with certain parents, you know, with certain environments, with certain experiences, because we already know what our purpose is to incarnate. Like we know why we would want to incarnate. We just forget when we've fallen down here. So it's like when you look at it from the bigger picture of this is already planned, this is already agreed to, this is just one reality, just one plane of existence, you know, this is just the earthly plane where it's literally hell. Like we know that we've come here for a reason to experience this hell and pull ourselves out of it. So like when you look at it from that perspective, you then realise, oh wait, that means that they came here to play a certain role too. That means that the people that do these bad things also came here to do that. Like they came here to play that role. And I feel like that is such a hard concept and perspective to even want to look at because it it can feel like you're excusing their behaviour when really you're not because obviously in a human realm their behaviour is not moral, like it's not good, it's not right, you know, it's not righteous and we know that from the human perspective. So it's hard to like step out of it because it feels like you're excusing their behaviour but you're not because we know that that's not right but then you're still having to see it from a bigger perspective of like we're all a part of the all you know like these bodies don't exist when you leave them they go back into nature they're a human construct these vessels so like when you see it from a higher perspective it's like this shit doesn't exist <laughs> like this shit's not real we literally came here to play these characters to learn a lesson and then when you so-called die and you transition my phone just went off i've got a delivery coming today so i'm like okay <laughs> they're telling me what time it's coming so I may have to stop the video and just go and answer the door but um what was I saying when we like so-called transition you may choose to come back to the earth plane 
but in another body. Like you could literally come as your great grandchild, you know, or your best friend. You could come as anybody because like the person who's your best friend in this reality could have been your brother or your sister or your parent in another lifetime. So it's like, if that happens and that's possible where we can all play different people, we all play different roles, different times, like literally different times, different time zones. So like you could have lived in a different country, you could have lived in a different era, you know, because time's not linear, it's all happening right now at once and you can leave here and go to any other point in time because it's only real in this earthly realm, in this universe. It's not real beyond it, you know? When you go back to the all, which is consciousness, there's no time. It doesn't exist. So it's like, if this reality is only real based upon you being in this vessel, I like to look at it as this vessel actually being in you because you're far too huge and too divine and too, like I can't even put it into words, your consciousness is just too great to ever be confined to a vessel. That's why your higher self is not in your vessel kind of thing, you know? So like your vessel is actually in you, it's in your spirit, not the other way around. But anyway, <laughs> can you tell my thoughts just run a mile an hour? Um, so yeah, if we can just choose our vessels, we can choose our life, we can choose our families, choose our experience, then that means that these things that these handful of people are doing like the things that are happening on this plane is not actually real because even the people that it's happening to are then transitioning over and are able to then remember everything remember why they agreed to play a role of somebody that dies or has something horrific happen to them and then they get to choose where they want to go next you know, because we're all a part of the all. And I feel like it's so easy to forget that and so easy to lose sight of that because you're witnessing all of this horrific stuff on a daily basis, which is why they put it in the news and put it in the media and put it in front of our faces because they want us to be attached to that because it instills more fear. They want us to be looking at that like, oh my God, that could happen to me. That could happen to my family. Like, I could be in school and this could happen, you know, like if they want that agenda, they want that message to be instilled in us, to keep us in fear, to keep us out of our power and out of the remembrance of who you are and the fact that you are far greater than this experience and that this vessel is not you, you know. So I feel like this video is probably not going to resonate with everyone, but it's where I'm at, you know. I'm just sharing my perspective of like my own journey. So I feel like, fuck it. <laughs> we can't do everything to please everyone else. You just have to follow your own path and do what you want to do. So that is what I'm trying to do, even though the fear is coming up right now, but we are going to talk ourselves through it and it's totally fine. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I just think this whole journey, obviously, as we know, is about perspective and it's about raising your perception through all of the different means of tools and work that you can do. So the way to exit the matrix and to stop falling into the distraction is to raise your perspective, which literally means like you choose the thoughts that you want to have. So like when your mind starts to go to, oh my God, this shit is happening. Oh my God, I can't believe that just happened. You then be like, but I did choose to come here. Like, it's almost like reminding yourself. So you, your thoughts go to, oh my God, this horrific thing is happening. And then you go, oh, but I'm God. Oh, but wait a minute, I chose this life. But wait a minute, I chose to come here and experience this life and so did they, you know? And that's not also, that's not to take away from their, the suffering that happens. Because it's like, it's really hard to find that balance of like stepping out of it but then you feel bad because it feels like you're abandoning people or it feels like you're you're not standing up for the right thing, you know? Like it can feel like if you choose to see things from the higher perspective of, well, we all chose this and this is their path and this is what's supposed to happen, then it can make you feel like, but I need to stand up for the right thing. I need to like stand up for these 
horrible horrific things that are happening like that's not right and I need to tell the world that that's not right and the whole world needs to see that that's not right do you know what I mean so it's like how do you find the freaking balance between that that is like the struggle but then I have to remind myself but wait like that this is supposed to happen because when you think about it things are changing so much at such rapid speed we know that the whole construct of their bullshit is falling we know that that's falling because like look at all of the things that are happening right now the way that people are getting found out it's all coming to light of what they've been up to and like people having court cases and going to prison and all kinds of things well i mean most of them won't go to fucking prison because let's face it but there's still the information the things that they've done is still coming to light so the fact that that's happening when it wasn't happening a hundred years ago just shows you that like everything is divine timing and everything happens for a reason and everything happens in the way that it's supposed to, you know, because we all agreed this, we all agreed this and we agreed it with each other, you know, like you have soul contracts and agreements with your soul tribe, with your family or whoever it is that's around you that you experience this life with and that you've probably experienced life, many lives with playing different roles, different vessels, different genders, different everything, but it's the same soul you know, it's the same soul groups. So like, when you remember that and you realise that we've all come here to play certain characters, then, because it's about the fear, so then the fear doesn't feel so intense because you remember that you're all a part of God, that you're all God frequency, that you're all source, you're all the universe, we're all connected and we're all a part of the all. <laughs> I said the all so many freaking times just then. Um, but when you remember that like then the fuckery that they do doesn't have power over you i think that's what i'm trying to say because it's about the emotional body it's about the emotions that it triggers so yeah what they're doing is absolutely horrific and yes we should stand up for it and say like this is bad this is not good this is horrific let's pull them down like i literally have a song called the revolution talking about let's pull them down because I mean, they deserve to be fucking crumbled. They deserve that. Like, they need to be. And it is happening. So I, I am on the side of, like... I mean, there shouldn't even be any sides. So that's the wrong phrase. But I am saying, like, we need to do the right thing. That's what I feel. Like, we need to stand up for what's right. But at the same time, we also shouldn't allow ourselves to emotionally get pulled down into that fear and lose sight of the bigger picture and the higher perspective of the fact that we are making it crumble by all of us doing this internal work is making it crumble so like when you focus on the fear and you focus on the shit that they're doing you're no longer doing the internal work to elevate yourself you know and that's why they put it in our faces, because they want us to be so embedded in fear, so depressed, turned completely into robots where we literally just eat, sleep, work, eat, sleep, work. So like they want us to be so in robot fucking state that we then don't know how to pull ourselves out of it. And we're then so distracted being stuck in that low vibration that we're not spending the time or the focus being internal like going within working on ourselves elevating our frequency you know i think that's the main agenda with this bullshit is it is a distraction but in a sense that it takes you away from yourself you know so it's not a distraction in like we don't want to look at it because we don't want to feel it and we don't want to know it's a distraction in when you get caught in that fear because you're looking at it so much and you're internalizing it you then don't focus on the internal work you're not focusing on raising your frequency you're not focused on the shadow work on getting yourself out of the matrix you know like that is what the destruction is for it distracts you from yourself it distracts you from your power it distracts you from knowing who you are knowing your purpose and why you came here knowing what you're here to do like literally knowing the full divinity of who you are basically is what the destruction takes you away from you know so I feel like the way out of it really and I'm kind of figuring this out right now <laughs> is to is to still acknowledge what's happening and still stand up like pro-righteous still stand up for all of the things that 
we need to stand up for but make sure that you're doing it from an empowered emotional state and not a fear-based state so you're not standing up for it because you're fucking angry and you're hurt and you're broken but you're standing up from it because you're standing up for it from a love based perspective of we are connected this is the right thing to do like i love you kind of thing so this is why i'm standing up for this cause do you know what i mean i feel like it's a shift in emotional um frequency really so you're coming at it because like you're saying you're sharing the story or you're sharing whatever it is or you're saying the thing because you care and because you want it to be better not because you're in fear and you're scared that it will happen to you you know so yeah <laughs> it's kind of mad really when you think about it <laughs> what a weird fucking world like why the hell did we agree to this that's the question i keep asking myself is like why why would we do this to ourselves what were we thinking <laughs> of all the places we could have gone to why would we come here but i mean it is definitely for a reason so it's a really a journey and really about getting to know yourself and knowing what feels good to you and knowing what you want and knowing why you came here and that has absolutely zero to do with money material gain or any other type of greedy low vibrational gain at all like it has nothing to do with money or wanting to live a lavish life full of material possessions and it has everything to do with feeling good feeling inspired feeling connected feeling love you know like this is why there's so much depression and so much anxiety and so much fear surrounding the entire collective because we are disconnected and um myself and hannah in my validate me podcast episode that we filmed the other day which comes out next week um we spoke about that a little bit and how everything is disconnected and i really feel like the reason that's even happened is because we've all been so caught up looking at the distraction so caught up looking at all the awful things that are happening the way that we can't survive very well like the way that we have to grind our asses off and work in things that we hate and all of these negative things our focus has been so much on that because they've put us in positions where we need to survive when we never used to have to do that, you know, like we never used to have to pay for water. We never used to have to pay for food, you know, you could just go and get it literally because it's nature. But now they've brainwashed us and also manufactured so many things that they call food, which actually are not food at all. So now they've brainwashed us so much into believing that we have to pay for everything and that we have to like struggle and that we now can't afford things because we're in a system where everything's so expensive. Like because our focus has been on that instead of let me help my neighbor, let me help my friend, let me connect with this person and see what they're about, you know? And I'm not even talking about help in a financial type of way. I'm talking about like my friend's going through something right now. Let me go and sit with them let's talk it out you know or like let me talk to my partner and see what's going on with them like the connectedness has fallen away because we've all been having to focus on ourselves in order to survive so i feel like that's where the disconnect has come and now we've kind of stayed disconnected and then we're looking at all of the destruction and all of the things that this handful of people are doing and it's now divided us because we view it as like one race is doing it or one religion is doing it or one gender is doing it rather than seeing that actually it's a handful of people that are doing it that are unrighteous it's a handful of assholes a handful of disgusting beings that came here to create destruction they're the ones doing it and we don't have to live by their rules we don't have to play by what they say is right and wrong or what they say we should we don't have to buy into their belief system which tells us that we need to work and grind ourselves into the ground that we can't take a day off that we can't go and travel that we can't you know like we can't do all of these things that we want to do and even when you do have to work most people are, and i said this in the other video most people aren't doing things that feel like joy in their spare time 
you know a lot of people would just sit around watching tv or go out drinking or go out doing all of this bullshit but they're not getting to know themselves they're not getting to know what they actually enjoy that isn't an escape that isn't an addiction, that isn't a way to run from yourself. Most people can't sit by themselves for even 10 minutes and in silence and just sit by yourself and just hear yourself. Most people don't do that, you know? Although I feel like a lot more people are starting to do it, but there's still many people that run from that. So like, we're just so caught up in this fucking distraction and all of this crazy bullshit that doesn't mean anything and that has been pre-planned. Like, we knew this was going to happen. You knew that these people existed. You knew that this was a thing. And a lot of people have come down here to help that change, to bring about that change, to help us elevate out of that because we have got lost for so many cycles, so many incarnations, so many generations, you know? So I do feel like a lot of people have come here to contribute to that awakening when they didn't have to, like they could have gone somewhere else. So yeah. I do feel like I've kind of rambled a little bit. <laughs> but like we all came here for a purpose and for a path. So the way out of this fear, the way to stop getting caught up in the like the fear-based distraction is to hear yourself, is to follow your heart, is to listen to what feels good to you and what you enjoy, what like what your creative side is and it doesn't have to be like a physical creative project. It could be anything absolutely anything like what feels good to you what makes you excited what makes you want to jump out of bed in the morning you know and it could just be like spending time with family it could be anything but that's what you need to be focused on doing more things like that spending your time doing that even if you have to go to a job that you don't necessarily want to go to in your spare time you can be doing the things that you love and then doing that thing will lead you to another thing which will lead you to another thing and before you know it your whole life has changed from where you are right now you know the small changes add up and I can completely confirm that because I've done it in my own life the small changes really really do add up so yeah I think it's just time to stop falling into this distraction and that's what I'm trying to do for myself because it's very very easy to do. I just noticed that my last note says you're meant to go through any phases that happen which is so so true like how can I word this? <laughs> so when we like when we go through certain things you know how things come around in cycles so like you could go through a phase where you really want to stand up for a certain cause and then you start to fall out of that. But what makes you fall out of that is a perspective shift, you know, like your perception changes. And so you don't feel like you need to speak that truth or push that agenda or like force that thing. You then shift into something else. There's all of these different avenues and different paths that we could take, but no matter what phase it is or what path it is or what career choice it is or what anything it is it's all supposed to happen like all of it it's all supposed to happen so even when you feel like you're taking the wrong path or even when you feel like you're going the wrong way or making the wrong decision it's not and it could never be because it all has to happen and it all leads you to exactly where you're supposed to be you know so like even if you do feel like you're falling into the distraction or you feel like you need to stand up for something, you should do it. Like this video is not me sitting here saying, you can't do this, you shouldn't do it this way, you need to do it this way, that's wrong, bloody, bloody fucking blah. Like if you feel like you need to stand up for women, for women's rights or for animal rights or for black rights or for a certain whatever whatever it is if you feel like that's what you need to do that's what you need to do because like there's no right or wrong that's a human construct so it doesn't actually exist so like whatever you feel like your path is whatever you feel called towards that's what you should do if you want to get on here and make videos talking about all of the reasons why a certain group of people are evil or why a certain other group of people are incredible that's what you should do like there is no right and wrong and i feel like that's what holds me back from making these videos is the fear that i like I'm saying something wrong or saying something that isn't true, you know, but really that's an illusion in itself. And that's also a part of the distraction of like, it's making us be divided and making us fight each other because we feel like 
one person is doing it the way that we shouldn't be doing it you know even when it comes to things like astrology or the science information or whatever it could possibly be even when it comes to makeup makeup tutorials or video game videos you know did that even make sense video game videos but you know what i mean like even when it comes to any kind of thing that you could be doing we all fear it because we feel like we're doing it wrong or somebody's going to perceive it as wrong but really you should just do what you feel called towards because that's the path that you're on and you could never go wrong with that and even when that phase so say you're doing makeup tutorials even when that phase if it was to change and you didn't feel like doing those types of videos anymore when it then moves in another direction like it's supposed to happen and that's okay and it's not wrong that you did those videos in the past and that now you're doing something else that doesn't take away from all of the incredible videos that you made i know this is a random example but you know what i'm saying like things change is basically what i'm trying to say so you could start working in one field and then completely shift to another but it doesn't take away from what you did in that field you know so it's like no matter what you feel like doing even if certain people perceive it as wrong it's not wrong you know and i'm not talking about fucking un unrighteous shit obviously because we all agree upon what's righteous and what's not so i'm not saying that you need to go and do the unrighteous things i'm just saying that if you feel like standing up for a righteous cause or if you feel like creating a certain type of content or if you feel like a certain passion or hobby is what you want to do you should just do it you literally should just follow it because even if it changes in the future it's still worthwhile and it still got you to that point it's still taking you forwards on your path so it's exactly what you need to do you know and we all need to just fucking block out all of these external voices which aren't even real because chances are you're not actually thinking of a specific person saying them you're thinking of like the entire collective and even if you are thinking of like a parent or somebody saying these negative things you know that they're just saying it based upon their perception based upon their experiences so it's not real and it shouldn't be internalized as yours like you can let that go you can set that free because you are here for your own divine purpose you are here to play your specific role as you no matter what that is you know, no matter what gender, what sexual orientation, what race, what hobby, what passion, what anything, that does not matter. You came here to be you exactly as you are and that is what you should be and that is what you should do. Yeah, my camera cut off there. So I feel like that is the perfect point to leave this video and end it there. But thank you so, so much for listening and watching. Just take what resonated and leave what doesn't because this is me just sharing my perspective. And that is literally what this whole YouTube and the whole social media world is. It's just perception. So if you don't like something, just let it go. Like you don't need to internalize it. It's not yours. It's fine, you know? So yeah, just take what resonated, leave what doesn't. And I'm really, really grateful for you listening and watching. And I will be back next week for another video, which I think I'm going to do on the chakras because I feel like that's really important. Really important work to do actually. But yeah, anyway, all my links to music, social media, everything like that will be down below in the description box. Or if you're listening on the podcast, it will be in the box thingy that's on there. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Pull it down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah.